Hi friends, welcome back to ECMAScript tutorial series. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the API concept, right? Last day we have discussed about the promise and this is the next part of the promise. So using promise, we will handle all the APIs, right? So this is my HTML file and this is the script section. So here I want to fetch some demo API, so write JSON placeholder basically there is some fake rest api or you can say fake api and i want to use that api and will show you how to fetch data from the api so if you just click on this link basically this is the get link and just click on that link we are getting the user's data so i want to fetch that data from our javascript right so just copy this and here i want to show how to fetch data so for this we have a function that is fetch so this is the javascript function and using fetch function we can get any output right so simply just take inside a variable suppose let um, data equal to fetch this and let's console these things so if you just console this thing sorry console.log then you will get the output so this is the promise and this is pending so basically this is the promise response and the promise state is fulfilled so last we have discussed promise have basically two status it may be resolved or it may be confirmed so as the promise state is fulfilled that means means we correctly hit the api we are getting these things and the status is 200 and we can see inside the body we have a data right so a readable stream so for now we to get the output so how we can get the output so let's go here and just remove this we don't need this actually we will use the generator so basically for success for success data or for resolve data we can use the then so write dollar then so using the then function we can catch the success data so i am creating a arrow function so arrow and then just simply write console dot log and res right and let's refresh this we are getting some data some response that is type equal to course and here you can see the url and status 200 so you can see status 200 and inside the header will get the header and also we are getting the body right so all are okay right and this okay is true that means it's correctly hit the api but how to fetch the data so i want to fetch this data from inside our javascript right so basically this is json data so we need to convert this into json format so instead of that thing simple just write res dot json so i want to convert all the data into the json format and in the next step we will get all the results so just write then and data right and what will be the data so just like our function just console these things console dot log and inside the console just print the data okay so here we'll get actual data from the api so just refresh this so we are getting the 10 records so you can see there is 10 records so if we just go back and can see there is 10 users so we are getting all the users and just expand it and we are getting all the things so right if you just want to get the particular one record suppose i want to get the record for Patricia Lepsack, right so this id is 4 so if you just simply write slash 4 then we will get the data for 4 only right so we are getting output so in this way basically we can handle all the api response and we can call api through the javascript right so this is the fetch function and it's basically uses the promises so hope you will like this video so please comment if you have still any queries about this video and next day we are going to discuss about another topics with the script so thanks for watching this video have a good day bye